everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. I'm Zelda Master and in this episode, we're going to be making our way to the sand slash desert realm that is located within the ocean realm. So in the previous episode, we got ourselves a new forest gem from Anjean after all of that crazy things that happened with uh, the cutscene with Maladus being resurrected and all, but we're gonna get into that later. Um, but to show you guys uh, the new area we unlocked, it's over here. Princess Zelda did tell us to take the path from the ocean realm so we can head straight to, uh, you know, the sand realm's tracks and whatnot or in the sand area because it's, you know, in the ocean realm. But before I do do that, uh, as you can tell, I'm in the forest realm. And why? Well, because I want to make my way all the way to the trading post so I can purchase something new. And that is, yes, I'm going to get the head of the demon train. <laughs> Finally, because I actually grinded for a couple uh, demon fossils, which I was missing. And now that I have enough, I'm going to go ahead and purchase that. I believe I can also get the freight cart as well. I cannot get the passenger seat thing um, yet because I need more demon fossils, but we'll get them soon regardless. I don't want to finish this let's play without having the full dragon train because that is what I want um, for the, you know, end of the game. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and make our way over there and then uh, we'll check out the new realm with the final temple, the sand temple and all of that. So I guess I'll just cut this really quickly and I'll see you guys at the trading post. All right, guys, we are here, and we also got some mail. I believe they are the postcards we set in, like, a couple episodes ago. I haven't really got a chance to check out the mail, but let's see if we run a prize. We got first place prize. Wow, that is awesome. Let's see what this is, and it's an ancient gold piece. That's not bad. I mean, for paying, like, what? We pay 100 rupees for 20, and we only put in five. So let's go ahead and put another five. So, yeah, this is definitely... A uh, good thing. Let's go ahead and put another five, and then later we might win another uh, treasure. It's random. Usually you might get first, second, or third place, I believe, and then you might not win at all. The first time I did it, luckily, as you could tell, I got myself uh, first place. So, yeah, it's awesome, but let's go ahead and talk to Lineback the third. Train car it is, and... Alright, this is gonna be awesome. Yes, the Dragon Head Engine. Look at how cool it is. We have exactly enough demon fossils. For those of you wondering where I grinded the remaining demon fossils I needed to obtain this uh, piece, <laughs> it's from Hyrule Castle. Someone on, I believe, Twitter told me to head over to Hyrule Castle and break the pot star in it and keep saving and exiting the game constantly to uh, have them reset. And surprisingly, they did respawn. I mean, it took me about an hour just to get four. I kept breaking all the pots, saving, quitting, seeing if, I'll get, seeing if I'll get lucky, and I did. But I was able to obtain, like, the four or five that I needed. Uh, it took me a long time, but it was worth it because, yeah, we got the head. And for uh, the freight cart, we're going to be able to get the dragon tail, which is a dragon freight cart, as you can tell by the silhouette. Yes, it is a dragon tail. Now, all we need is enough demon fossils for the passenger car, and uh, we are set. I'm gonna go ahead and show it off really quickly. We won't be able actually to see it though, but see, there you go, the dragon passenger car. Um, we need exactly eight demon fossils and we're done, and we have enough, because we have enough uh, pearl dark loops as well as pirate necklaces. That's cool. I mean, I could try to get something else and like show it off, but I don't really see a point. You know, they're all for uh, people to explore and, and test out for themselves. You know, if you can get the treasure you want, then go ahead and pick up the cart you want and train pieces. I personally want the dragon one. I never actually used it in a playthrough. Usually I use like the cake cart because there is like a dessert type train as well as the golden one. I did have the golden one in one of my uh, Spirit Tracks playthroughs, which was pretty nice. It took me quite a bit to get, but it was so worth it because it looked amazing. Um, <laughs> But yeah, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make our way to the Ocean Realm. I could head up to the Tower of Spirits and then take the passage from there. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, uh, yeah, take this uh, path and then we'll make our way to the ocean realm. So before I do cut this small traveling sequence out, I'd like to show you guys the cool animation this train does. As you can tell, yes, the head of the engine will actually like bobble back and forth and the steam will come out of the dragon's nose. 
And then here you have the tail to where you can put luggage and stuff on like that. Also slightly moves, making the dragon train seem alive like compared to other train parts. And to me, that is so freaking cool. Like, I really like this dragon train. Um, which is weird how I never really decided to get it until now. And I think definitely it's the coolest of trains. Sadly, we did not get an extra piece of heart for doing this, like for having another two pieces. I think we'll have six, maybe if we change the passenger car. We might not, maybe it's only gonna cap out at five. Regardless, it's better than the Spirit Train's health because the Spirit Train only had four, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with whatever. But uh, anyways, uh, I'll see you guys over at the Ocean Realm and uh, we'll continue from there. Okay guys, so we have arrived to the new tracks that have appeared. Once we take a left here, we'll be on land instead of ocean and it's gonna be the desert itself. So yeah, it's the sand realm I guess you could say. And this actually branches out to a part of the fire realm as well. This place is a little difficult, I'll tell you that. Obviously this is gonna be the most difficult challenge of them all. And to start things off, yes, look at that huge statue. Who do you think built it? I have no idea, nor do I care, but these statues serve a really important purpose. And that is, well, um, basically you need to kind of drive all around the tracks here in this sand section of the realm to uh, track down every single statue and where it's facing. You'll see all the statues are gonna be facing a certain direction. And uh, once you got that down, when you arrive to the uh, sand sanctuary, you'll figure out the puzzle to that. But since this is a let's play, I'm not gonna show it. I'm just gonna show you guys how to solve the puzzle instead of uh, actually going around and doing something I am already know what to do. And uh, to avoid these sand sharks, the land sharks that will jump at you, the easiest thing instead of actually trying to kill them is using your uh, whistle. If you do, they'll jump out of the sand and uh, that usually slows down their attacks. But anyways, here we are at the Sand Sanctuary, and if you pay close attention, you'll notice that the walkway that's on the map, if you look at the top screen, the darker colored track is actually based off of the track that's right outside. So yeah, and you're gonna have Gossip Stones hinting to that. So basically we are standing right up here, and like this is where the sanctuary is supposed to be and as you can tell there is a uh, stone slab find me by blasting the area where the gazes where the gazes of the big wait what did it say the big statues right yeah the big statues meet that's what i was talking about so outside is where the big statues meet it has nothing to do with in the sand sanctuary itself so yeah, um, I could, you know, go ahead and drive all around and track them and jot them down on my map, or I could just show you the exact location. But I guess before I do that, I'll show you guys a, a couple other hints they give you to figuring out this puzzle, because it is kind of crazy how they expect you to be like, oh, I gotta figure out what those giant statues outside the sanctuary are gazing at, and then come and do it here. So if we play the Song of Awakening, we can wake up these Gossip Stones and see what they have to say. I'm actually a little curious to see, so... Yeah, I believe they're gonna say, uh, yeah, yawn, that was a nice nap. The lake forms the sea, the path form the rails. That's not really a good hint, but okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check out this other one, though. I think this one will actually give you a decent tip to figuring this out. So let's go ahead and play the Song of Awakening again. I actually love this. I mean, it might take a while to, instead of like actually hitting the Gossip Stone to have him give you a hint, you have to play a song, but I don't mind it because I love the music in this game as stated hundreds of times. But yeah, that was a nice nap. Do not dwell on what's inside. Instead, turn your gaze outside. So two things, gaze, talking about the statues. Second thing, this is technically inside, outside is where the statues are. See, he even says there are no statues here. So this puzzle that my, in my first playthrough when I played this game took me quite a bit to solve. But when I did, it was so just satisfying. And um, basically, where they ended up uh, meeting is right here, I believe. I remember it because how long it took me to actually solve this, but I believe I threw it in the wrong area. You can see when I threw the bomb, it actually clipped slightly like the shadow for it. It's because it was right on top of the area. And 
I gotta walk in and out like that because I was already in like the entrance zone to take me downstairs. But since I broke it, it didn't like take me straight down if that makes any sense. But here we are. This is a secret passage to the sanctuary itself where the locomo will be at. And yes, there he is. So, hello there. So, ah, oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Are you the keeper of this realm? Anjin told us about you. Oh, hello there. So wonderful you can make it, your highness. And you too, young man. Call me Rail. It's my name. I'm the guardian of the sand realm. The locomo of this realm is awfully different than Ambrose, don't you think? Hmm? Oh, you mean Ambrose? Yes, he can be a bit stuffy at times. Anyways, you came to fix the tracks, right? Exactly! Now, that's music to my ears. Oh, speaking of music, yeah, it's the key component in restoring the area's lost spirit tracks. I take it, yeah, we heard the song of locomos, yada yada, he's gonna tell us what everyone told us, you know, the duet. And we have to play along. So this one is a little tricky though, because every single time we've done this, we've tried to play the notes as fast as possible. It's different this time. This time you want to play with him like it's an actual duet and have it sound similar to him. So I'm going to wait a second. I'm not going to play this time around since this is the practice. So we can exit any time. Okay, hear that? We're going to try to play exactly like that. So. So kind of like that, though, if I played it earlier, I'm going to see if I can do this the first try. It shouldn't be hard, but let's go ahead and try something else. This is a good way to practice. Play with them, and if you play with them, you'll get the hang of how long you want to have each note last for and when to play it. And once you got that down, once you're like literally playing with them and it sounds alike, then you can start practicing. And honestly, that was the way I figured it out. Like, I kept playing exactly the way he played it because we played literally the same notes. So, now we're going to perform. And let's see if we can do this correctly. I'm going to be quiet, though, and let the music play so you guys can focus. Because I do remember uh, having trouble. But once I figured it out, it should be really easy. And hopefully, it's like that for the rest of you guys. But let's go ahead and perform. So, all right, I'll get started. Yeah, and we won't get our parts confused. Okay, so surprisingly I didn't first try, but as you can tell, I played some of the notes uh, a little off. Uh, but I'm gonna let the music play before I really get into that, so enjoy! And there we go guys, we learned, or we didn't really learn a song, but we played the duet and we unlocked the sand realm, which is technically in the ocean realm, so yeah, uh, new rails have appeared in the ocean realm, so that's awesome, but oh yeah, I completely forgot, but I'm skipping over his dialogue, but basically what he's telling us is the three trials that we're going to have to take, and uh, that is the way to the sand temple itself. But if we talk to him again, let's see. So to get to the sand temple, you must pass three trials. First, you will encounter a big eye that looms in the shadow. Second, you will traverse the twisted tunnels. And finally, you'll face the impeccable temple. Um, with what awaits you, will discover. Okay, whatever. <laughs> so there are tr three trials we're going to have to take on to get to the temple itself. Um, and then I guess the temple itself, really. So, yeah, um, we have to make our way to the temple now. But getting back to what I was saying about playing the whole duet, it may seem difficult because I remember <laughs> I had so much trouble with it. But uh, I think honestly the key is to literally play it like you're playing a song and not just play the notes because 
yeah, you have to kind of like feel like it's an actual duet in a sense. And as you can tell, I was kind of screwing up with uh, playing the notes. Like some of the notes were uh, rather off, I guess you could say, because I was blowing straight into the microphone, so it like cut out, it like in and out. But surprisingly, the game doesn't read that as long as you're um, playing them, you're fine. But anyways, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make our way to the tunnel. Uh, as you can tell, the new tracks that have appeared, the one that we can actually have to, is taking us to the Fire Realm, so we want to head there. And like I said earlier, to avoid these uh, land sharks, we just need to constantly spam our horn. Obviously, it sounds different, or rather, whistle. It sounds different than the Spirit Train. I don't really like this sound. It's supposed to be like a dragon or, you know, some kind of dragon sound effect, but it's whatever. I'm going to do it because I just don't want to get hit and I don't want to bother fighting these guys. But yeah, we have to make our way to the temple itself. And uh, the first one is heading through this dark and gloomy area where we're going to fight a uh, eye. That, that sounds scary, but uh, don't worry, we've done this before. This is pretty much the same encounter that we've had. So yeah, the first trial is a great eye in the dark, so going to be a, uh, I believe, rock tight. Uh, basically, a tech tight that's like a giant rock. It's right there. And it's going to chase us, and we're going to have to shoot, shoot its eye until we kill it. And once we kill it, we'll technically be out of this cave. So this cave is literally endless unless you kill this guy or die or whatever the case is. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and start spamming at the eye. We get a close-up of the dragon train here, like the actual head of the engine. It looks so cool, man. I just love it. And our dragons are like awesome, so yeah. But I don't know, just the the Sand Realms uh, music, like it's it's different in a way to where I feel like I just don't understand how they know if you played it right or wrong. Because sometimes you may feel like you played it perfectly, and you're just like, how did that not count? Like I thought I did it perfect. Oh, by the way, we have to hit these barrels to have them open his mouth so we can hit the eye again. But yeah. Like, to play the duet correctly, sometimes it feels like you've done it perfect, but it said you did it wrong and stuff, and to me that just sucks, but... Oh, jeez. Um, but like I said, it's really timing. Like, you just have to be perfect. If you get the perfect timing, you'll know. Like, I knew when playing it that first time, I'm like, I kind of screwed it up, but um, I know I'm going to get it correctly because... Yeah, oh, come on, just, kill, just die already. I'm hitting him as... There we go. Um, I know I was going to get it correctly because the timing was on even though I kept screwing up with the actual notes to play. And there are no TNTs by me, so I'm going to hit quite a bit. Our train looks like it's going <laughs> to freaking explode. Okay, seriously, are there any TNTs? There's one. Hit this. Okay, there we go. I think he's going to die after this. Oh my god. Is he dead? No. This is ridiculous. Alright. Did I hit that one? No. Okay, we have to hit this one, that one. Oh, he opened his eye. There we go, we killed him. I got hit a lot. Usually you're not even supposed to get hit by this guy. He's never supposed to come up close to you where he can jump on you. And that happened to me thrice. So, yeah, that is pretty bad. My engine is beat up, but I don't know. I just wasn't really paying attention. But that was the first trial, guys. The second trial, surprisingly, is so much easier. And how this is going to work is we're going to enter this section. So could this be the twisted tunnels that Rail was talking about? Yes, it is. So we're going to enter this weird-looking cave and... There's a dead end there, so let's go ahead and obviously head inside this cave. This is the most logical answer, of course. So we're gonna do that, and by doing that, um, we're gonna head right back where we were before, so that is a little confusing. Hold on now, it looks like we returned where we started. I don't think, yeah, it's a little, uh, it's a little weird, but what you wanna do is head back. So we don't wanna go backwards. We actually want to head back into the weird cave, and if you do that, instead of going back, literally reverse and go back into that cave you just came from, and here you'll be in a different area. Yeah, isn't that weird? Do it again. As confusing as this is, you want to do it until you made it out. There you go. This is the final cave. Should take us straight out if we take a left. Or rather right. Do not take the left. That's the wrong way. You want to take a right after... Doing that, and this will take us right outside of the cave. 
and we'll be good, as you can tell. So yeah, it looks like there are no more tunnels. We are done. So it's it's pretty weird, but that's honestly the easiest way to uh, finish that trial. You just need to constantly reverse your way. And I'm actually going to stop at Beetle's airship because I do believe stopping here will replenish the hearts for our train, which I need. And I could also purchase something if I so desire, but I don't really think I do. Let's just buy something because I do want to get that heart container eventually. So could pay a thousand rupees for this. This will not really help out right now. I mean, I could end up selling it for like 800 or something to line back. But I'm only doing it for the points. So let's go ahead and buy this treasure as well. I think that's good. I mean, I have so many rupees, it's not really that bad to buy all the stuff. I just want to rack up points in Beatles membership. So we have 300, 10% uh, off of merchandise, and a lovely prize. This prize is going to be a freebie card. So if Beatles sells anything awesome, we can get that. And yeah, the gold membership is next. So that's cool. We'll come back and buy more crap from Beetle. I don't need it, but yeah. No, it does not. Okay, so I am wrong. It does not replenish the heart for your train, which is going to suck quite a bit, but whatever. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're quickly going to turn to the left. That is not the way to the sand realm, ocean, temple. What, what am I saying? To the sand temple. <laughs> but what I want to do is activate this portal. So if I ever want to come back here sometime, I can. And yeah, that will play in handy some other time. But now let's go ahead and backtrack real quickly. And head to the temple itself. But there's one more thing we have to take on. We have to actually head inside the temple. And to do that, well, it's not as easy. So yeah, you're going to see in a bit. Um, let's go ahead and get started by heading to it. And you're going to see, okay, I need to hit these rocks because I really need hearts. If they can drop any, that would be awesome. Nope, I guess not. I'm out of luck. I like how Beetle's like moving with us. Alright, please tell me this is a heart. Yay, okay, we're good. I have three. I'm happy with what I have. Alright, so, as you can tell, you got these guys on top of the temple itself. These guys are literally gonna shoot cannonballs at you that go really fast. And they shoot it like it's a homing missile. It's like it's ridiculous how fast they actually go. I'm gonna need to take my time and actually pay attention to what's shooting at me because. Oh no no, I just realized. I just realized that there are some of those back there. Okay, so I only have one heart. Can we do this? I think we can. We just gotta believe. I'm gonna have to go really slowly now. Normally, this should be easy, and we should be able to take them all out with one quick turn. All right. But this time, we have to change the pace and really slow down. Focus. Oh! Okay. Midair. Gotcha. No, I didn't. Can I hit you? Yes, I can. Let's go ahead and hit this guy. Come on. I don't want to go any closer because I don't trust it. Or, you know, we have to. So, let's see if we can hit him. There we go. Still no hearts. Let's hit this. Let's hit this bunny. I'm obviously avoiding him. We'll get to those bunnies soon. I guess not. <laughs> Luckily, there are no enemies here. The only enemies are those weird cannonball things. They look really futuristic, to be honest old crafted pyramid looking sand temple but yeah okay slow down slow down whoa 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 all right oh my god that was super lucky uh, let's go really slow here it's getting all crazy all right, where is it where's the oh hit it hit this one there we go are there any more no all right, we're good. It's only two more over there. Then he hit all three. I don't really know if I hit any of them. As long as we do what we've been doing throughout the beginning of this, we'll be fine. We just have to go slow. Quickly hit this guy. No. Okay. Hit this one. Come on. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. Can I hit him? There we go. We've done it. We we took out all of these. Anyways, okay, so yeah, as you can tell God dang that was close only one heart, but we've done it and by uh, destroying all of these guys It opens up the way to the temple itself So now we can take on the sand temple and hopefully retrieve the bow of light and that way we can Free Maladus's spear not necessarily free him but kick Maladus's spear out of Zelda's body and uh, get everything back to normal So yeah, of course we are ready, but that will be in the next episode so Thank you all so much for watching this episode of the Legend of Zelda spear tracks 
I'm in Zelda Master, and I'll see you all in the next one.